Hey guys, AJ here with Center Mass Defense. Today we're going to be doing a review of the National Classic by Liberty Safes. We went with the National Classic 50, which we bought from John Miley at 1-800-4-A-GUN-SAFE in Chandler, Arizona. Now the Classic 50 is 72 and a half inches tall, 42 inches wide, and 32 inches deep. And it weighs just a little over 1,400 pounds. The National Classic series comes standard with 110 minutes of fire protection and has a polyusol heat activated door seal. As you can see, you know, it's a beautiful looking color. We personally went with the champagne and feathered edges, but you know, just because it's a good looking safe and has this elegant looking exterior doesn't mean that it's not tough. This safe has a 10 gauge steel body and 16 one and a quarter inch locking bolts in a five inch composite door with a 3 8 inch steel plate over it. Now that ball bearing steel hard plate is designed to shatter drill bits, preventing lock drill attacks. Uh, internally it has interlocking deadlock system for extreme attacks. It also has a triple relocker to prevent entries from punch, drill, and torch attacks. So now we're going to go ahead and check out the inside here. Another nice feature was those external hinges that you saw. Now that it's open, you can tell that it's got a wider uh, opening range. This gives me plenty of room. I'm a big guy, and I was able to get in there and move the shelves around and load up stuff and not have a problem with it. I was fairly impressed to see that even though it's, you know, it's pretty stylish and good looking, that it's definitely very functional. The first thing you'll notice when it opens up are the lights that, pops on, that pop on. Those are six wand lights attached to a motion sensor so you don't have to fumble for a switch. Ours came with the beige velour, which I think is very clean and sleek looking. Uh, the shelves come out, and you can easily adjust them to different heights you know, that work for you. I, I played around with a couple different uh, layouts here. Those of you guys who have seen my other video know that uh, this is quickly going to be filled up with POF rifles here pretty soon since I demoed their uh, 415 Edge. Here's just a few things I threw in there for now just to show some versatility of different things that you can do. One of the things that I did like about it was uh, we're not big jewelry people, but if you open the jewelry cabinet at the jewelry drawer, you can just take this out, put whatever you want in there, and, you know, hang this for another day, maybe. Uh, I'm very lucky. My wife, I mostly buy her firearms and not jewelry, so luckily for me, I can just get rid of that. Alright guys, last but not least is this accessory door hanger, which is one of the deciding factors for me and some of the different safe companies that I looked at. Uh, a lot of them have too few pistol holders and they're all full of accessory pouches. I don't need to lock up my accessories in my safe, I need to lock up my firearms in my safe. So I really like this one because it's got an extra row, I'm not wasting too much room. I mean, of course there's some accessories that I can throw in there and I'm fine with, I just don't need the whole door full of it. I enjoy these cool pockets down here at the bottom. Uh, they're insulated, keep things a little bit cooler. So I'd have to say overall, we're very, very happy with this safe. Uh, it looks good, it's functional. Everybody down there at 1-800-48-GUN-SAFE was great. We're definitely going to be referring people down to John Miley down there. Um, I know they can do financing for those those of you who need to do it. I know not everybody can go and afford to spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars on a safe. Uh, so they've got some options for you. If you liked our video, please look down below and hit like and subscribe. Also go to the comment section if there's anything else you'd like to see us review. It's uh, Arizona and as the weather starts cooling down, we're going to be hitting the range and testing out some more POF rifles and doing some SIG and uh, Glock reviews as well. So thanks for joining us. I hope you guys subscribe.